Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Remember, it is a general. It may not resonate with everyone. It's kind of impossible, um, but you can always get a personalized reading, and I'll link below some information for you. I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here, Moon Girl Tarot, and more, so please make sure to give it a like and a follow. I would really appreciate your subscription. So this is how it's going to work. The inner cards are going to be present to immediate future. Your outer cards are going to be further into the future. The outer cards are not set in stone, guys. So if there's something that you want to change, um, this is going to give you kind of a heads up. So you could might um, be able to change some of these things, okay? So I'm going to move you up ahead really quick. We have the bride. So with the bride, for any of you who are single... Um, for those of you who are single, I do see you being, um, successful in anything you're trying to do. So if there is something you're trying to get out there, uh, to do, um, school, um, some kind of a job, um, some kind of, um, something you want to get off the ground, you're going to be successful in that. Okay, guys? So if you were waiting for a sign for whatever it is you want to start, um, maybe your your own business or something, it's a go, and I think you should do it. It's a, it's a great omen. Okay? Then we have uh, the anchor, which totally resonates with the bride. Um, I do see some kind of success and some kind of venture. Um in business, um, and in love. So for those of you who are single, especially for those of you who are single in love, um, as well. Okay. Then we have the railroad. So with the railroad, again, this totally resonates with me because, um, you are going to go on some kind of trip, um, some kind of journey. Uh, and if it isn't a trip, you're not going to travel somewhere. Uh, you're going to at least start some kind of new endeavor, some kind of journey. It could be, you know, a spiritual uh, journey or um, perhaps you're trying to lose weight. You're going on a, a diet journey or you want to stop drinking. or So there's going to be some movement for you. However, since these cards are here, um, I do feel that some of you might be traveling for work or maybe uh, for school or even to meet a spouse somewhere. Okay. So these cards totally resonate with me, okay, on on that. Um, let me see the next card. However, I do feel that there's going to be some kind of disappointment in something, so I would keep an eyeball out on that. Then we have the ha the hands, um, and with the hands, I do feel that there's going to be some sort of deposition here. Um, there might be someone you may not be talking to or won't be talking to, or maybe they're not talking to you. Um, like I said, this is going to be some kind of, um, disappointment. So, and then it's a d deposition. So it might be, um, maybe someone around you if it's not you. Okay. Go to the next card. Yeah, we have the rod. So I do feel that there's going to be some kind of family uh, quarrel, perhaps um, some kind of argument or some misunderstanding. So this might be um, the disappointment you have and the deposition of a family member or a close friend, okay? Um, then we have the railroad. And with the railroad... Um, With the railroad, if some of you are, especially if you are going to go on a trip, you need to keep an eyeball out um, because I do feel um, that there's going to be some kind of misadventure. So at least um, be very aware of your surroundings, guys, okay? Be very, very aware, especially if it's somewhere further from your home um, that you're going to go on a trip that's kind of far away. Um be very, very careful of your surroundings. Be very aware of your surroundings. Um, because, I, like I said, there's going to be some kind of misadventure here. 
Then we have the lilies. The lilies are a great uh, omen. It's a beautiful card. Um, it means a happy life. However, I do feel that there's going to be some kind of family sorrow, some kind of family disappointment or an argument, which again resonates with these cards. So this might be what's going to go on here and why you have the disappointment, uh, the dis deposition, um, the quarrels, okay? Now we're going to go to the outer cards. And like I said, remember, these are not completely set in stone yet because these are a little bit further uh, into the future. Not by much, but, you know, this is a time um, that you can kind of like take inventory. And if you don't like what you see, perhaps you can try to change something. Um, okay, so these are, like I said, like a heads up. We have um, the fish. So with the fish, I do feel that there's going to be, um, there's going to be, again, some kind of, um, you might have a hard time getting something off the ground. Um, you might not be successful in something. I do feel that there's going to be some kind of, um, mm, yeah, you might not be successful in something. You might be disappointed in something. And again, like I said, this is the outer cards. So keep an eyeball out on that, all right? Then we have the ring. With the ring, I feel like some of you are going to get engaged or already got engaged or uh, possibly get married. So it's a beautiful card. Then we have the wine. Um, so again, I, uh, cheerful moments, giddiness. It might be because of the celebration, the happy times, you're getting engaged. Okay, now I'm going to go down here. We have the ship. So with the ship, I do feel that you guys are going to be doing all right financially. Um, also, again, some of you might go on a trip, some kind of voyage, some kind of vacation even. Uh, it could be for work. It could be for fun. So again, with um, the railroad, I do definitely feel like there's going to be some movement. And again, be careful, please, because there might be some kind of misadventure here. All right. Then we have the eye. So I do feel that someone's going to keep, be keeping an eye, a close eye on you or you on them. There's going to be some kind of um, um, someone might be suspicious of you or you suspicious of them. OK, so again, this might be the family member you're dealing with or a close friend okay then we have the heart so um again it signifies happy times joyous times then we have the star which is another another beautiful card um there's going to be some kind of success in some kind of enterprise okay Then we have the clouds. So for those of you who are um, getting married or getting engaged, I do see that this is a great omen for you. I feel that there's going to be some happy times for you guys there. And this is my reading for you guys. I hope this reading was a blessing to you. And if you would like to bless me, you can tip or donate at paypal.me slash moongoddess11. I really appreciate all your support, all your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. They mean the world to me. Um, please drop me a line. Let me know if this resonated. I do answer all my messages from you guys. Um, I try my hardest to, and I really appreciate all your support. And stay magical. Thanks, guys.